What's up, everybody? We're Side After Dark out of Brooklyn, New York. Your new favorite band. Check out our music. Shaking up the faces and moving all the pieces. You can't get what you want, no matter if you need it. And check out us reacting to Bring On The Night by The Police live. This was a selection by our patron, RD. Shout out to you, RD. We appreciate you. RD gave us a list of songs to choose from, uh -huh. and we decided to go with this song because we love this song, and I've <laughs> never seen a live version of this Me song. Me neither. So I'm really excited to see it because we already know that it's an amazing song, but we want to see how Sting and the boys do it live. Uh -huh. And um, I really want to see how Stuart Copeland does the drums. Yes. Yeah. So I'm super excited for this. So shout out to RD. Uh, if you guys don't know, all of our reactions are chosen by our patrons on Patreon. So be like RD. Go over there. Check it out. Tell us what to react to. And don't forget to thumbs up if you like this video. Bring on the nights! Looks like Rod Stewart, no? Yeah, he does. It's crazy how you don't hear that extra sound in the drum beat until you actually see his The afternoon is gently pass me by. The evening spreads itself with it. The sky Waiting for tomorrow I love this dance uh -huh. It's just another day It's happened this yesterday Hands up with my head there in my dark. Can't see for the brightness. Stare at me blind. I stopped with this yesterday.
summary right happy summer everybody we know it's not june 21st or whatever but happy not winter anymore yeah exactly i mean what do you say this is so weird i've never picked a drummer and a bassist so much over a guitarist in my life and the guitar is so beautiful yeah 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 like it's just the craziest thing it's just the drum and the bass are just so so spot on for this style of music, regatta de blanc. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean that's definitely true, but it's like more so the drums for me because I feel like whenever he does something on the drums, it inspires both of the other two. Yes. To pick it up, like you know what I mean. Like I feel like they are, they're all following him. Yeah. You know I, what I mean? Like and you can feel that because like as soon as he changes the beat, there's just so much energy injected into the whole song. Yeah. You know, like there was that one point like where they kind of got fat. It almost became like a punk song. Yeah. And they were playing the same thing. Yeah. Oh, the only thing that was really different was him going crazy on the drums. When and it I, made the whole song feel different. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. I was like, this band could have been so different if they had changed the lineup. If they had put the drummer in the front. Like as soon as it started, I was like, if they had to put the drummer here with the bassist and the guitarist in the back, mm-hmm. the trajectory of this band would be completely different. You know, but I do want to say that I think it's fair to say that Sting's voice is a fourth instrument. Oh, yeah, for sure, like, for sure. Clearly, like, that's what made this sound so distinct. Because every time he opens his mouth, it's like a, a new horn is being played. It's not mm. even, you know, because he, he, he could easily be a, a basic singer with this great instrumentation. And this right. band will have great success. Yeah. You know, but it, his voice is just such the fourth instrument that it just makes everything sound... So much more full. That definitely puts it over the top. Yeah, yeah, but I've never seen a drummer and a bassist shine like this, where I'm just like almost ignoring such beautiful guitar work. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm like I'm like it's so good, and it's like the tones and the sounds he uses. Yeah, Andy, right? Andy, yeah. Yeah, and that's another thing that's interesting is like seeing the live performance. It did make me appreciate the guitar more because like listening to the recording, I'm always thinking about Sting and Stewart, and but hearing the guitar, it's like I see how it's not. You know, he doesn't have, like, a flashy style. Mm-mm. But what he does on the guitar just perfectly complements and sits in the middle of what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think another guitarist would have worked in this band. You know what I mean? Like, because I also think, because this is something that I thought about during this. There was basically that point where he had, like, his, like, solo. Mm-hmm. But the solo was not really a solo. Mm-mm. The solo was, like, all chords. Yeah. And I think that's really interesting. And I don't think that's something that a lot of guitarists, probably including myself, would think to do. So if you had another guitarist in there playing with these two guys, then he would be trying to do too much. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I think it takes a certain level of, I don't even know if it's really skill, but of just like of awareness. And respect for the musical picture. Right? Mm -hmm. As the guitar player to be like, I just need to fill these gaps in. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to be the star. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to shred. Mm -hmm. I'm just here to compliment the music in the best way that i can yeah and that's clearly what he does Mm -hmm. so shout out to the police i mean there's a reason they're playing stadiums like this Mm -hmm. you know hell yeah hell yeah shout out to rd for suggesting this we appreciate you 
Shout out to everybody on YouTube for watching. Shout out to everybody on Patreon for helping to make these videos possible. We couldn't do it without you. We're Side After Dark, and we'll see you soon.